This is quite possibly the coolest introduction to Minecraft for quite some time. I currently stand 16 blocks tall, but I could, in fact, stand 0.05 blocks tall. The same can be said about armadillos. I could go ahead and make another one absolutely giant. Or we could make this incredibly tiny. I think I think this guy became the tiny one. Like I generally can't even see him. Or slash game mode spectator. Can we, can we, look how tiny he is. We have tiny armadillos. <laughs> oh, he's incredibly fast. Okay, let's try just one more of these. Let's go for a giant breeze. I'm going to teach you all about these changes. In the latest snapshots for Minecraft Java Edition, that being 23W51A slash B, these are the data pack changes outlined. One of them is the generic scale, where you can resize you as a player or your friends, even entities such as the armadillo, which I did show you. You can also change how far you can break and place blocks, but also attack entities. You are also able to change the generic step heights. That includes how many blocks you can jump up. It can be between one and 10. Anyway, guys, hope you're having a fantastic day. There is a lot of speculation in the community as to why these attributes were recently introduced. The most popular speculation being that the devs expected the crab to win and already started on the mechanics. So instead of the mechanics going to waste, they went ahead and introduced them as a data pack slash attributes. Now, whether that's the reason or not, this feature is absolutely huge and is going to be so awesome for map makers and data pack creators. Let's kick things off with the generic step heights. I am going to be showing you how to jump 10 blocks tall at a time. Now, as a Minecraft player, you know that you can jump one block tall and that's it. I can't jump two or three. Well, until now with a specific attribute. You want to type in forward slash attributes and then we're going to be doing it for me. This does work for entities. It does work for your friends as well. Then type in generic dot and then you want to do step. It's going to be this one right here. At this point, you want to do base, space, set. And this is between 1 and 10. So I'm going to do this one for now at 4. Which means I'm going to be automatically able to jump this tall. Can't do it against this one. So in this case, I'd have to change it to, say, 6 blocks tall. So I can get all the way up here with no problem. And same applies, you can change this to, let's go to 8, all the way up here with no problem at all. And then let's change this to 10, which means I can get all the way up here and I can just keep doing this. It's a really cool introduction. Now, as to why they added this one, honestly, I'm not entirely sure, but this is going to be, again, really, really good for map makers. So this gap right here and this one right here are some of the smallest gaps in Minecraft. I'm pretty sure you guys will comment something smaller. Well, we are going to be able to fit between it. Now, right now, I'm at the default scale. But if you want to mess around with the scale of your size, entity sizes, friend sizes, it is really simple to do. Again, forward slash attributes. Then you're going to do your name or friends, etc. And then you want to type in generic dot. And then we're just going to do scale. Now, we're going to do base and set. Again, you see... The similarity with every single one of these. Now, I believe this has the highest height of 16, which makes you incredibly tall right now. Um, or you can be, like I said, incredibly low to 0.05 if you really, really wanted to, where you're pretty much a pixel tall. Now, we're going to go back to 16 because one thing you'll notice with this is if I go over here, you can see I can walk up one block at a time. Now, if we do try and stand upon these ones like we'll try and do this here I, I gotta get around this if we try and get up this you'll notice i can't get up it same with this one as well i can't get up it now the game is actually classing me right there okay <laughs> that's where it's classing me now, obviously you'd think that you could stand on top of trees and stuff but no it, like it, they're, they're just in the way it still regulates the game like normal do you know what i mean so i can't just stump around and squish everything which is basically how I thought this was going to be. But what happens if I was to change this to uh, 10? Let's have a quick look at what happens when we go up here then. Come on. There you go. There you go. So this is why all of these working together is really, really good. 
Hold on, like, I wonder what happens. Like, if I get over here, can I stand on house? Am I on a house? I'm on the house. I am on the house. Aha! <laughs> yes. So in that case, this is where you do want to use the, the likes of the generic step and use them all combined together. All right, let's change it to the opposite end, though. We'll go to 0 0.05 in size. Wow, okay. So I am... Oh, 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 oh. Doesn't seem to like it when I'm on this one, then. Aha. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, yes, it makes it visually impossible to see. I mean, like, getting over this little ledge here is quite the challenge. Wait, what happens if I, like, jump over here? Ha ha! Wait, wait, does that mean... Hold on, check me out, man. I'm like Ant-Man. I'm incredibly fast. Can I... <laughs> you can! Bro. Oh, that's... Yep, that's not what I want to do. But let's get back on top. Hold on, I gotta try this. I have... Dude. Yeah, you gotta be really, really careful. Because <laughs> you will do what I'm doing. Two, three, one more. That, that, one more. Aha! On top of the world. And, and the thing is, like, you gotta be really careful because... Like, one wrong move. Like, it's hard to tap. Look how tiny I am, bro. I am so tiny. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I showed you guys that you can actually fit underneath these gaps. So I'm going to slip on slide all the way through here with no problem. At wait. Oh, wait. It put me on top. Hold on. I got to change this to one. I fit ah, no, it won't let me go through. No. Okay. Well, it does let me go underneath here. Damn it, man. I look stupid in my own video. You can go underneath here as well. Like, imagine me just, like, sliding all the way. Oh, my. Now, that is. I didn't I didn't know that was the thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so much to learn with these commands. Bro, they are so cool. Hide and seek with this is going to be so much fun. So, you can change this to, I don't know, 0 0.5. We'll go to, like, I don't know, 0 0.1. We'll go to, let's go to 0 0.5. One, I think, is base. Let's go to, like, five, for example. We'll go to eight. We'll go to 12. Like I said, 16 is the highest. You can change this to, like, I don't know. Like, let's say you want to do 100. You can type it out, but I'm pretty sure 16 is the highest. You're not going to see any form of dis uh, differences between that. So mobs work a little bit different here. We'll start with a horse, okay? So if you want to mess around with making horses really, really big or really, really small, this is what you got to do. It's going to be the exact same again. We are going to be doing at E, and then it's going to be like the bracket, which is that one. And then you're going to do type equals, and then you're going to do horse, and then you're going to do this, and then you're going to do sort equals. You're going to do uh, nearest, because we're going to use the nearest one here. You can do a bunch. We're going to limit this to just one. Otherwise, you're going to end up with way too many. Uh, and then we want to bracket this off again and then type in uh, generic dot scale again. And then you want to do base and then we do set. I'm going to set this to 16, which again gives us a giant horse. I am curious though, right? Oh my days. We can actually ride. <laughs> you can ride the giant horses. Wait, I got to try the opposite size. Hold on. Let's get down real quick. Please, please get me off. So we changed him to that big. Let's change him to 0 0.5. It's, it's, <laughs> it's basically like a baby size there. But, you <laughs> but I think it's weirder when you change it to like 0 0.05. Um, and then like, yeah, like, hold on. We got to undo this. Let, let, let my boy free. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> can you jump? Wait, hey, yes, you can. I'm pretty sure there'll be a way to change the scale of jumping as well. Like if you wanted this guy to jump really high, because you can change not only your uh, step height, but also entities as well. But do they know that? Like, I don't think they're smart enough to understand that. But I just love this. Hold on. What happens if we change it? We got to like, I don't know, like one. We got to like 10, a big giant one. I kind of like that 0 0.6. Now, when it comes to any other type of animal, right? So we'll change them to 16 again. Just type out the same command. Go ahead. And just change this. This time we're going to change this to uh, a pig. Because the pig is the nearest. Or you could just go ahead and change it to armadillos. i I just been messing around with a whole bunch of these. So if we go to armadillo. Got a giant armadillo there. You can even go ahead and change this to a villager. The nearest villagers. Try that. There you go. He's, he's a giant size inside of his house. So let me show you the attributes for placing and breaking. Same applies. Forward slash attributes again. And then do you because you're changing the distance that you can break. It's going to be generic. Once again. 
dot, and then you're going to do block, which is the interaction range. You're going to do base. You're going to do set. Now, this, I believe, is between 0 and 64. So I had it at 64 before, and we'll look at this one over here, and I better pick it up, and then I could go ahead and start placing more all the way over here, but also breaking them. Now, one thing you'll notice is that is clearly a pig over there. I can't currently interact with any of the mobs over there that is because there is a separate attribute for that now you could go ahead and break down the whole entire trees if you wanted to place a ton wait can i place diamond blocks up there i can there you go see what i'm saying really cool it's a really cool introduction and again this is what people said that the uh not armadillo the crab claw was basically gonna do whether that's true or not we we still don't know but i mean it's a bit suspicious that they added this just after the armadillo because they probably expected the crab to win. Unless they kind of intently developed all three of them. Anyway, like I said, I can't hit any of the, the animals. Like, I can't. I can place the, the blocks near the pig. But I, I can't hit them. That is because you have another attribute. Once again, forward slash attribute. You're going to use you or anyone else. And then you're going to type in generic dot entity interaction range. We're going to do as base set. And you're going to do 64 as well. So, as, as well as me being able to place them down there, see the iron go golem over there? I can actually beat them up. So, if I get myself a sword, for example, you can see we are now going to be able to kill the iron golem from a long distance. Same can be said about that little pig over there that we can now attack. Now, it does get very, very interesting because I can stand all the way over here and I can shave and take off all of the wolf armor that I placed on in my previous video. Overall, this is going to be huge for map makers, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what the community can do with this, especially the extended reach. Anyway, that's the attributes. If you have anything else you guys would like me to teach you, let me know in the comments section. Go and have some fun. Feel free to tweet me some stuff. At Echo X Soldier. See you next time.